Hey guys, and welcome back to my Scorched Earth series. This is episode number 11. In the last one, I started building this greenhouse here, and I didn't quite finish it because I ran out of cementing paste. Uh, but off camera, I went ahead and I finished up the whole thing, so now it's completely covered. All my plants are getting the greenhouse effect, so you can see it says 300% there, and all of, them sh all of them have it. I also went out and got another dung beetle. I named this guy Urkel because, uh, you know, nerd names. I actually kind of like his colors, though, because he's just kind of golden. Uh, he was level, like, 70 or 75 when I found him. I think it was 70. Um, but, yeah, I picked up another one just because I figured, you know, I can never have too much fertilizer. He just happened to be uh, wandering around where I was because I basically went out into the... Um, let me see. Yeah, to the north. Oops. We went to the north in the sandy dune area, and there's just a ton of, you know, scorpions, dung beetles, stuff like that, that give, um, chitin. So I took my saber tooth out there, bad Dennis, because he's really good at farming chitin. And I farmed up a ton of it, and then I used, uh, all of that with some stone from my dodicarus. And, oh, I'll talk about him in a second. And I made the cementing paste in here, and I was able to make all the stuff. So I've done some other things off camera as well. So this is the next thing I worked on was getting this electricity because I knew I needed to set up a fridge and a grill. So here you can see I've connected a, uh, an electrical cable here to an outlet. So it's just kind of floating in midair here. Um, and then I went and made myself a refrigerator. So far I only have a couple things of meat in here but it stores it for a really long time. Just super nice. I definitely needed that. I need a place to store my stuff. Um, I actually did pick up, uh, pick up some red drops as well. And one of the cool ones was this rock golem saddle. So I can ride around on the rock elementals for sure. Which is something I really want to do. I also found out you can put a saddle on the uh, the flying moths, the limantrias. And I already had that one, I guess. I found out a couple other things. Um... The next thing after that, before I started this actually, I on the map you can see uh, that black marker, that is the oil pump, so I crafted using the blueprint I found earlier, an oil pump so that I could set up um, oil because I was really lacking in it. And um, I don't have my grill because I'm lacking in oil, so I need a little bit more, and I found, you know, if I have the blueprint I might as well just make an oil pump, and it took me a while actually, I had to fly around the whole map. Uh, for a while, and then finally I found one. Most of them are just water veins. Um, along the way, next to the one I actually did find is this Ovis. So it's a little sheep looking guy with some ram horns. Um, I can't tame this right now because I don't have any, um, what's it called, uh, sweet vegetable cakes. So the only thing you can do to tame one is to get a vegetable cake. But these do give mutton which are, is really good for taming. Um, I'm not sure how much it's going to give, so I oh, just took a crap in my base. So I'm going to go ahead and pick him up, and I'm just going to kill him. I think my Carno might be the best at getting meat, so I'm going to drop him next to my Carno and kill him. As awful as it may seem, um... It's a necessary evil. Oh, is he going to go out on his own? Nice. Because uh, the mutton is like one of the best taming foods in the game. Like right under kibble for carnivores. So let's see. I have a level up on this guy. Let's get some more melee and get more meat. So there's the Avis right there. I'm going to be storing the meat um, in my fridge too. So it's really nice that I found that. So... There you go, I got a ton of mutton. And you probably got some as well. Oh yeah, you got all the mutton here. Transfer, did you get any mutton? No. So all this mutton, I don't know how much I'm able to hold because it only has stacks of one. And I can only hold so much of it uh, in my fridge as well. Which is really a shame that it stacks like that. But I figure I'm just gonna put as much in as I can right now. And uh, while the rest of this sits in my inventory, it doesn't last for very long, even with the salt. 
I'm going to try to store it on my Carno for now. Let's actually give him some, give it all to him. Should last a while longer on him, so we'll do that. Um, so yeah, I, my, my thought process this time was that I needed to start a kibble farm. And down here is a Uteranus. If I can get two Uteranus, I can start making a kibble farm. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do here. I need to make a taming pen for it, so I will cut back to when I am placing it down. I figured I would also mention I just finished making all of the components for the taming pen. Uh, I did bring Camel Top last episode, I forgot to mention that. Uh, I figured she's just been a huge asset to me, and I couldn't just leave her behind, so I brought her with me. Um, as well as, uh, I forgot, some of the red drops gave me some other stuff. So this, I got a pretty good Rex saddle here. Maybe it's not pretty good, but it's better than just the standard primitive. It has more armor, which means uh, I could go get tame myself a Rex. And actually, when I was flying around, I saw 135 Rex which means I need to tame that as well. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And then I just have some like whips, uh, Pelagornis. I don't even know if that's, I don't think that's on this map. Uh, this one, it's another blueprint for the Lymantria. And let's see, so just some other stuff, yeah. And I also got a rocket missile. So I'm assuming I need like a rocket launcher for that, but I figured I'd just give a heads up. I'm about to go down there and actually tame the Uteranus. So I'm actually flying around right now and I don't know where the Uteranus went. It's been down here yelling this whole time, been doing stuff, and then I came down here and I don't know where it went. I've been flying around for a couple of minutes right now just trying to find it, but it's not showing its face, which is not really that great. I should also mention, I guess there's a Titan. So I have two tight titanosaurs on this map in different locations and I don't know why I've never seen that many so this kind of sucks uh, I was hoping to get the Uteranus but it seems like that it's just disappeared or it ran off I'm guessing it just ran off somewhere because yeah I, I don't see it and usually like it has a bunch of Carnos with it so I don't know if it just died or something too something could have killed it it was only level 10 so it wasn't that great. Um, but, you know, I do still have that Rex saddle. So maybe we could go look for that Rex that I found earlier and tame that up just so I can have it. Because that seems a lot more interesting to me now that I can't find this. So let me go grab uh, my crossbow and some trank arrows because it's actually um, a lot more efficient for me to do that because these um, trank darts take a lot more to craft. So I'm going to go grab those, and then I'm going to head over to where I saw it. Alright, I'm back, and I found the Rex. It's right over here. Oh, it's just so beautiful. 135 Rex. Oh. Usually, like, God, on the island, I've spent so much time trying to get a good Rex. I mean, I, I have two good ones for breeding, but I need a third one. And, oh, finding high-level ones is such a relief. Oh, there's a Wyvern up there, too. I'm going to be building this taming pen, let's see, so I don't have to worry about the thing dying, it's really strong, 135 is pretty much has nothing that can kill it, but I need to find a nice little spot where I can build this taming pen, so let's do, he's just right over there, what about, Here's a nice spot, actually, right here. I just need to be kind of away from it so it doesn't come and, like, attack me. So I'm making the... I think this should be big enough, actually. Hold on. I'm trying to get this right. I don't get off my mount because I don't want to get attacked by it or anything random. Because, I mean, in the area, I guess it looks... Where's the Rex? I think it's, like, over there. Yeah, see, there's a wolf, or is that a horse? I think it's a wolf. Anyways, um, I'm gonna just stay on my mount while I do this, so I'll cut back to then finish those. So you don't have to sit here and watch me do this. Stupid Merlot tops got in my taming pen, and now the Rex is coming over here to kill that Carno. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, 
Oh, maybe it'll walk in while I'm building it. But uh, I'm trying to build this as fast as I can. Because right now he is right next to the thing. Alright, hold on. I think I should be fine in here anyways. It might try to get in. Yeah, look at that. It's just staring right at me. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm stuck. There we go. Alright. That was kind of funny. Thought it was going to trap me in my own thing. But hey, it's built. It should be big enough for it to fit inside, I think. I made it 3x3 three three for the Uteranus, and Rexes are slightly larger than that, so I'm assuming it should be fine, though. Let's see. Put this, these two things down. I think that should be good for the stairs. I'm hoping it is, anyways. Let's see. Ugh, come on. Pick them up. Oh my god, look. Can you leave me alone, dude? Yeah, yeah, alright. Oh my god, it just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even finished building it and it started biting my origin so I flew away and it just walked and got itself trapped. Wow, you know, if you just try hard enough, and that was definitely all skill, don't, don't think that it wasn't. If you just try hard enough and you're that good like me, you can make anything happen. So this is going to take quite a few arrows because these things have a high torpidity, especially at 135. So I made like, I have like 191 to start with, or 192 or something, and it's going to take like at least half of that, I think, to knock this thing out. And then when it's knocked out, um, I'll wait for its uh, food to go down a bit, and then I'm going to uh, bring some mutton from my fridge. Because I'm pretty sure the mutton on that Carno is just expired by now, so. The only thing I got to do now is just make sure I don't get attacked, because that would suck. But, yeah, I mean, oh, Jesus. Oh, God, there's a wyvern here. That's not good. I might be dead. I didn't even know that thing was there. Oh, no, please. Please don't eat me. Oh, come on. Oh, this is bad. I didn't even know that was there. Oh. Well, now I actually don't have any way of getting there. Um, Cause I don't have any other flyers here. Just had the one Argent, which really sucks. I hope it's on neutral. I can't remember what it was on. Um, all right, we're gonna take the saber. God, I don't even know if this is a good idea. But I have to do something, and I have to find a way down for my base too. Hmm. Oh no, not that. I think there's a... Yeah, there we go. There's a little trick you can do where you just get off your mount um, right before you're about to land. And when they're not, um, they're not... They don't have a rider, they can't take the fall damage, so I don't know. That's a neat little glitch or exploit or whatever, but at least it saved me from dying, so I'll take it. Yeah, this could be really bad. Just FYI, um, I did not expect that at all. So there I was a second ago saying I was super, you know, skilled at the game, and then I got killed by that wyvern because uh, I didn't even know it was there. And so that's really unfortunate for me. Oh, <sighs> I don't know if my argent's even okay either. I'm hoping we can kill that thing. It's only, I think it was only level like 40, so it shouldn't be like insanely strong. But I think it's breath hit me really hard for like a hundred and like forty five or something I think I saw. So yeah, I'm hoping I can get there, no issues. Um Wish me luck, because I'm gonna definitely need it. Oh god. 
Jeez. That made me jump. Like, what are you doing? Neutral. What is he doing? Oh, he got stunned too. Come on, let me on. Bad Dennis. Come on. Jeez. I didn't even know those were there. Oh my god. So dangerous. I'm like afraid now. That made me have a jump scare like so bad. Jesus. Oh, alright. Well, if that's not arc for you in a nutshell, then I don't know what is. Please, no. God, there's a rock elemental following me too. Okay, I got away. Those things are really slow, thankfully. I'm telling you, man, this... This is, uh, this is getting me all sweaty. You know, that jump scare. I could lose my origin, I guess. It's not good. God, there's so many enemies too. Uh... And I don't have my armor either, and I'm overheating, which really sucks. I'm just hoping I can get to my body and not die. Because I really need my ghillie back. Oh, come on. Get out of here, guys. Come on. Okay, well, let's heal him up while we get stamina back. I'm definitely taking a lot of damage. Okay. I'm almost there though. If I can just make it to my body. And I hope my Argent's on neutral. I, I'm not sure what's happened. I don't think it's died. I didn't see any message about it de being dead. But, you know. Cross, cross my fingers. Cross your fingers. Everybody cross your fingers. Because this is, this is a tense moment in my Scorched Earth series, to be sure. It's got to be like right down here. Or no, it's like around the, um, it's around the bend up there. So hopefully, I'm hoping it cools down too. I think it is going down. Oh, come on, dude. No. You don't understand. I have... A mission. I only have 90 health. Oh, please, just stop. Stop jumping. Jump scaring me, you know, doing all that. I need... I just need this to work out. That's all. And if, uh, if I die again, I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. Getting a, um... A new flyer might be kind of difficult. Um, yeah. No. No. Oh my god, no. I can't catch a break, man. I literally... Oh. I'm not sure what I should do. I mean, I literally have, like, nothing... I need my Argent. Without it, I have nothing. Let's see. Equipment. Do I have any other armor? Oh, my Desert Cloth. I should have brought that the first time. So I need something against the heat, and it'll, like, maybe make me live longer. I don't know. I'm gonna grab some meat out of the fridge as well, and some salt. And I guess we gotta go for round two, because I need that stuff. Let's take the, uh, the Carno and then maybe this time we'll just go a different route. I don't really want to fall down there again. I think I, I think I took the really long way too. I think I could get down there much faster. And I'm back to my second body, I believe. Here's Bad Dennis. Got him with me. Now we need to find the Argent, which is over there it looks like. At least I think that's my other body over there. Or is that it? Because we just need... Oh, look at that. Where's my Argent? Where's my Argent? Did it die? Let's kill this thing if we even can. Come on. It's like a boss, 
Look at this thing. My god, it hurts really bad. But I can inflict bleed on it. I think I'm doing damage. Let's get let's get this guy. Make him pay. Oh yeah, he's really high up in the air. My Arjun is trying to kill him right now. Alright, come to me. Can you come to me? Oh my god, they're just spinning in the air like a mile up. What do I even do? Where's my body? I need my body. So Rex should still be in the taming pen. Okay, he's coming back. Oh man, what a freaking battle. Jesus. Can we just... Can we just have a brawl on the ground, buddy? Like... Oh my god, this is so annoying. Where... Where's my body? So I died, like... Over here, didn't I? Where's my body? Maybe I can hit him this time? Alright, let's just get... Let's get out of here. Don't need to mess with that thing anymore unless it's gonna come back. I don't know where it went, but I really want to find my body because it has all my stuff in it. So like, I died... Where did I die? It was like... It was right around here, wasn't it? I was taming the Rex right here. So where's my body? Do I not have one? Or did I die? Oh wait, I, was I running? Where was it? I know I was running like... Please tell me my, I have a body bag somewhere. Because right now I'm not seeing anything. Where did he kill me? Yeah, I don't see my body. I don't know if I even have one. I've never seen that happen though. Every time I've died, I've always been able to get my body. It's like dying to a wyvern, does that just disintegrate me? Like, what happened to my body? Cause like, I know that I was down here. And then the wyvern like, killed me somewhere. My god, a Uteranus, are you kidding me? Where... Where the heck is my... Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, that thing in the distance is my first body, I'm pretty certain. Okay, I actually managed to find my stuff just now. Which is really nice, because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to. So... I'm really happy about that. I have a cryopod here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead... I'm gonna cryopod the uh, Carno, and I'm gonna bring back Bad Dennis to the base. Cause yeah, that I don't really want to risk that happening again. So I'm gonna bring all my creatures back, and then and I guess in case a stupid wyvern comes back, which I don't see anything right now. There's a Uteranus down there, like in the. Yeah, down by the water right there. I don't know where the wyvern went, but I think I was actually doing a lot of damage to it before um, it flew off. So, geez, man, I was I was sitting there. I thought I would never find my body. I had to actually go um, stop this recording and look at the footage and find exactly where I died. And that's the only way I was able to find the bag because there was no marker or anything. Um, I think it's because I died a second time and it took um, my most recent death and put a marker on it. But yeah, I do want to get back to taming that Rex. Um, there's just been some uh, technical difficulties. So yeah, I'll be back to that place uh, next time I cut back. All right, I'm back at the location where the Rex is. I don't see the Wyvern this time. But man, that was, that was intense. That Uteranus is just right over there. I want to get to a spot where like I can just freely shoot and not have to deal with anything and where I was was pretty good 
just kind of afraid of that thing coming back. And I keep, like, looking everywhere. I don't see where the wyvern is. So I'm going to hope that I can actually do this this time. And I actually brought my other crossbow and uh, my gun because I wasn't sure if I would have enough durability. So I wanted to just make extra sure. Okay, I don't see anything. Don't see any stupid wyverns. I know there's a Uteranus just running around too, but... I actually don't know where he went. He's just down by the water. And that's something I, um, I was thinking too, is I could probably get the Uteranus in the pen as well after I get the Rex tamed up. So maybe I can get both. That would be pretty nice. It's going to take a while though. Because like I said, I don't know... Um, how long it's gonna take for this guy to get knocked out? This thing's just about to break, I think, in one more shot. Yeah. Okay, let me get on my mount before I do anything else. So, give me... Give me that. The other one can just go in here. Once again... Don't see any wyverns. So, we'll just hope... And I mean really hope, let me turn up the gamma, there it's a little easier to see, that there is nothing. Sorry if I keep uh, saying the same thing and doing the same things, but man, like I really, oh god, the Uteranus is yelling. Don't know at what though. I can't tell if the Rex is like, is he still down there? I think the Rex is getting high torpor. Can't tell if he's like fear running or not yet. He's not biting the uh, the, the structure at all, so I'm I'm assuming that he's. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't want to bite it. And okay. God, I'm like, I'm so paranoid right now, you have no idea. Not sure how many more shots. I fired a lot at it already. So maybe when I'm down to like 100 arrows, it'll start getting close. As long as everything just stays away from me, everything will be alright. And the music is just having some weird stuff going on right now. I think it just turned nighttime in the middle of combat, so now the combat music got interrupted by the nighttime theme. Okay, the Uteranus is just right there. God, there's a stupid saber. Alright, I might have to take care of that. I can't have anything messing this up. Oh, I should mention, I actually made some fur armor. So I might put some of that on right now. And I don't have the pants actually yet because... Oh my god. I don't have the pants yet because uh, I didn't have enough pelt. I think I actually have enough now when I go back to the base. Come on, get out of here. Stupid rats. I need to heal. Give me your food. Okay, I have a level up. Let's put it in uh, melee. This is what I'm saying, man. Like, I have to just sit here and be so careful. I mean, he's actually getting kind of bloody. I'm going to switch to the gun. So he takes less damage. Um, that's kind of why I brought it, too. Just to be, just in case. Oh, the stupid scorpion, man. Can you get out of here? I don't know where these things keep coming from. I, like... I killed this, like, so many things, and they're still here. Okay. Thank you. I think we're okay. There's another scorpion over there. Now I gotta go take care of that. So every time, every second I'm sitting here not doing anything, I'm, like, wasting time and when I could be shooting it. Come on, shoot. It's like a weird bug when, when you get off your mount, when you hold a gun, it like doesn't let you shoot. Is that an Argent? 
Jeez, man. Can you get out of here? For the love of God. It's just too, too many things. And I don't like it. Oh my god, please. Let's just sit here and fight all day. Okay. Anyone else? I'm sure there will be. Because it does not seem like they're really uh, wanting to let me do what I want to do. Come on, not the stupid glitch. There we go. The glitch is so annoying. I almost wish there was no combat music when I was shooting this thing, because, like... Then I could actually figure out if something was gonna attack me up here. Alright. Come on, buddy. You gotta be getting out soon, right? Right? See, it's getting bloody. It's, it has me a little worried. I don't know if I have to worry about that thorny dragon, honestly, because... They have a really short, like, aggro range, so he's, they don't seem to attack you unless you're really close. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. Hmm. This, oh, shoot. Did I hit him? I can't tell if I hit him after knocking him out. Shoot. Oh, that could suck so bad. Let's see, I might need to... I need right now, I think I'm just going to go back to the base and um, might do some other stuff while I wait for his food to go down. I don't think anything attacks them. As far as I've seen, like every time I've tamed a Rex in a pen, like they just never get attacked because nothing wants to fight a Rex. That's one of the plus sides. So I'll probably cut back to either me doing something at the base or when I'm putting the food in and taming it up. Oh, my plants have grown. Yeah, these are all fruitlings now. So that means... There we go. I'm starting to get some uh, some veggies in here now. Perfect. I just need a little bit more. And that'll be perfect for making, like, kibble and all sorts of other things. So that's awesome. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, I'm back. And... Oh, it looks like I gotta take out a saber. Since I can't have anything hitting my tame. I didn't even actually check the stats of the Rex, because I was just like, I needed to get the heck out of there, I felt like. Um, what level is that Equus? 20, okay. So everything seems to be okay. I'm going to try to land, if I can get in there, and check its food and its stats and stuff. So, oh, I just opened it. Health's actually kind of low. Okay, it's just really bad. I can already tell this is really bad. But I guess it's better than nothing. It's actually, I think, about ready for the, uh, the tame. Okay, let's just throw the mutton in. And uh, let's get out. It should be good enough to just have that. Dodo deck said you only need 11 mutton to tame it. So let's just fly up in the air for now. And I do have a cryopod. I'm going to be cryopoding it and then I'm going to see if I can get the Uteranus potentially. I'm not sure. I might say that for next episode though because one might have already dragged on long enough with me fighting off the stupid wyvern and stuff. So let's see. Should be almost done I think. Because I think he had enough food lost for 10 so the last one should be very soon just kill this guy because he's just annoying me I hope that uh, didn't hit the Rex shoot I actually didn't look at his taming effectiveness either uh, did I end up hitting it? oh I did dang yeah I ended up hitting it with that last dart 
that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. I guess it's not so bad. I mean, I'm not even kibble taming, and also it's a crap rex, so it's not the worst thing ever. But yeah, it should, it should be up very soon. It only needs like, to, it needs to lose like 15 more food, I think. And then we'll have our very first Rex. We can throw on the Rex saddle. And I'll just demonstrate what it can do. It's pretty cool. Really fun to ride around on. When I first started playing Ark, I actually, that was one of my first goals. Like, I really wanted a T-Rex that I could ride on. All right, well, we'll cryopod it up and then, oh, make it land, land, thank you. Cryopod it and then I'll bring it back to the base and then I'll show off what it can do. Okay, I'm back at the base now. Let's test it out, see what its stats turned out to be. Oh, and he left me a shit, just uh, as a welcome present. All right, let me put on a saddle. So the health turned out to be just average, melee's kind of bad. Yeah, you know, honestly, I'm surprised. This is probably one of the worst I've seen. But uh, it is still a Rex, so we'll try it out. So when you're on a Rex, you're really high up. So as far as I've seen, Micro Raptors can never knock you off because they just can't jump that high. I'm not sure about like Perlovias or anything. But I know Thylacolios, if they're on redwood trees, can knock you off. It's just that there's no redwoods on this map, so I think Perlovia is the only thing that could potentially still knock me off. Which is really nice. Um, let's see if we can find something to fight, because these things are awesome. So, I think I saw something over there. Oh, I'm already out of stamina. That's another thing. Uh, stam... You use it up pretty fast, and you don't go too quickly. And I think one of the first things I end up doing on Rex is, at least the ones I'm running around on, is get my stamina up, because... Yeah, you're gonna need it. Alright, let's go up here. So the first thing you have is just your left click. The 164, so like, you're still a T-Rex, so you're gonna hit pretty hard. Uh, so yeah, 164 a hit. It's okay, it's not the best. Get another two levels there. So you have two things you can do. You have the left click, which is your bite like that, and then your right click is a roar. Which uh, is supposed to fear things that are lower level and make them like poop. Let's see if I can I do it again. Let's see if I can do it like... There we go. Nice. I don't think the Stodicorus really cares though. Oh, he's in a in his ball. I didn't even realize. I was sitting there thinking like, why isn't it doing anything? But it's just curled up. It's just a visual bug where it looks like it's not, but it's it is. Cause I'm doing like no damage. Um. Yeah, I mean, you only have those two things, but Rexes are powerhouses, especially if you can breed one and get one imprinted. You can do some amazing damage on them. This guy is not very impressive, though. Let's kill this stupid Pego. Got another two levels. Alright, I have 2k stam. Let's get the health up. Maybe, like, 10k health. Because my damage is already pretty solid, um, and it's not really that high anyways. So let's just go fight some more stuff. But yeah, it's just it's such a cool creature. Oh, now I'm doing 189. I wonder why I'm doing so much more all of a sudden. Hmm. Was it like me boosted? Cause like why am I now all of a sudden doing so much more damage? Hmm. Weird. Let's go wandering around. I don't really want to run into a rock elemental still though, because that sucks. Let's see if I can fear this thing. Yeah, see how I just made him poop and he can't move? It's like a... he's like fear locked. To where he's just stunned and he poops and he just can't move because he's afraid of me. As he should be. I mean, I am a giant rex. Just kind of wander around and then when you have a rex you feel like almost as if you're a god on this in this planet, this arc. I mean, there's not really much that can stand up to you. 
And there's a rock golem right there. I don't know if I can fight that thing. What level do we have? Level 5. I almost want to try. But I'm not entirely sure, like... Because when I, when I used a saber before, I think I hit for, like, 80 and I was doing, like, 8 damage. So if it if I only do 10% damage, then I'm probably only going to hit for, like, 18, which sounds awful. So I think I still need to avoid it for now until I can really figure out how I'm supposed to beat it. Because I don't think this Rex can, even though it's got, like, 9100 health and everything. I might be able to like try and see what happens. Level 5 probably doesn't do too much damage. Let me just heal myself to full and um, I'll try biting it. They're really slow so I might actually be able to just walk away if I need to because I can definitely take a bunch of hits from it with this much health. So yeah, I'm almost to full. Let's see like a little bit more meat here. Maybe like one more stack will do. At least I have the ability to heal them really quickly though if I need to. Alright. Here we go. We're gonna try this out. It's level 5. Finally, I gotta get my revenge. Oh my god, 19 or 16. Did he even hit me? What is going on? Wait, he's like really slow and like not able to do anything. He's really huge though. Alright, Roaring does not do anything. This thing is just really tough. I mean, look at that. I'm doing 16 damage. I don't think I can kill this. He's just beating me up. There must be something I can do to beat this thing. Because I imagine it has a lot of health. But I don't know, because I mean, would they give something like this a lot of health and give it this much damage reduction? Probably. Honestly, it's probably like an endgame thing. Well, the saddle's level 70, so that's one level below a Rex. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill this. And this is the lowest level, and I'm just doing nothing. And he's still hitting me for like 50. Alright, let's just get out of here. It's taking too long. Oh my god, I'm like stuck. Let's just like run away. He can't really get to me. He's just a slow mountain man. I'm getting stuck on everything, of course, so. That's a shame. I, uh, I was hoping I could somehow kill him, but I guess I can't. Alright, well, that's going to be the episode. I hope you liked it. It was definitely a wild ride from start to finish, but now we have ourselves a sweet looking Rex. It may not have the best stats, but you know, it's my first Rex on this map and it has a special place in my heart. Um, and actually, before I do anything, what should we name it? What gender are you? You are a female. Oh, let's get a good look at you. Look at me. There you are. You can be, hmm. Oh look, I can make it roar. Nice. All right, name-wise, female Rex. You can be, hmm. It's a good name. All right, I decided to name it Lucia. Couldn't really think of a better name, but now, where was I? Yeah, this is the end of the episode. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, hope you like the Rex. I really do. Looks pretty cool. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.